everyone and today I'm doing another haul video so if you want to see that then keep on watching. I'm going to start with new look because I have quite a few things from new look and firstly I have this crop top and it looks like this it's just a standard Aztec crop top but I think the colors are very autumnal so they will be more appropriate for the season as opposed to something like bright and floral or pastel so I really like the pattern and what I mostly like about it actually is the bottom because it's very unusual asymmetrical bottom and when I tried it on it just looked so flattering and beautiful on with that little cutout detail and same at the back as well so at the back you also have that little triangle and the material on this is also a little bit thicker than on your standard crop top so I think this would be perfect for this time of year with a cardigan and then riding pants or disco pants or just some sort of high-waisted jeans so and then my second thing from new look is a play suit that I think will be quite hard for me to show to you guys but it looks somewhat like this so it's a very flowy play suit with shorts that kind of make make this play suit look like a dress but it's not as risky because if this was actually a dress not a play suit it would be quite short so it would be more risky i choose play suits over skirts any time of the day i prefer shorts over skirts but yeah that's how it looks it's not like bright floral details so i think it will be perfect for the season it has a little hole at the back the button and then little black zip that you can barely see and as you can probably tell this is quite loose and quite big they for some reason they just come oversized and then I picked up three pairs of shoes from New Look which can seem a bit excessive well actually it doesn't seem a bit excessive it is a bit excessive and my first pair is this one and when I got them and I showed them to my mom she wanted the same pair to, for her work in court she wanted to get the same pair but then they didn't have her size unfortunately but I really do like them they're like Brock style flats with a nice detail here they just slip on it's very easy to put on and off Topshop usually sells shoes like that so they really remind me of Topshop and yeah I got them in UK 5 and they are a little bit loose when worn with no socks or with like very thin socks but if I put a thicker socks on they are perfect and then my second pair is another pair that I think I'm going to wear quite casually and it is these so these have a little bit of a heel to them but not very much and they are like cut out shoes again they are black because i guess they're just so much easier to style i have a few bright colored shoes but i always find myself not reaching for them as much and not getting so much wear out of them so i thought the black shoes would be better and even though like heart to heart when i look at them and when you guys may look at them you may not consider them very beautiful and i don't think when i look at them i love them i don't really love them when i look at them when i put them on they honestly look so so nice so yeah i'm excited to wear them and they are very steady and then my third pair is probably the least casual out of them all i mean it's still casual in my opinion but it's not necessarily something that i wear to college and it is this pair and they have little wedge to them they are not high whatsoever i don't really like high very high heels or very high wedges I just don't I just prefer more comfort so these I think can be perfect for me and these would be so beautiful as holiday shoes before I was about to film this video today I got a delivery and guess guys what I got I got another pair of these pants in this beautiful beautiful purple shade they definitely look bright on camera than they are in real life i mean they are still bright don't get me wrong but because of the settings on my camera they look brighter they are a little bit more of a deeper purple still really shiny and really bright but definitely a deeper purple and of course they just go really shiny i was thinking whether i really needed another pair of disco pants from american apparel because i've got quite a few already 
but the thing is whenever I wear them I always get so many compliments not only from my friends but also from random people who see me they always comment and they always say nice things about them believe it or not you would think most people would know about them because they're such a cold clothing piece but actually lots of people haven't even heard about American apparel so some people actually ask me where they are from because that's how much they like them and they want to get some for themselves so I think that's kind of indicates that they must look good and I personally think they really look good and nice and gorgeous and they can be worn casually or fancy they can be worn I can wear these to college or I can wear these to a party they are just very versatile and very eye-catching so something that I personally really like in my style I only have one thing from Topshop because whenever I try things on they never seem perfect on me like I can see so many beautiful things in Topshop but when I actually go and try them on I don't really end up liking them and I think one of the reason being is because I don't know if it's in every Topshop or just the Topshop that I go to the mirrors that they have make you look skinnier than you actually are there is nothing wrong with skinny people don't get me wrong but I just don't think that especially their bottoms look flattering on me when they make my legs look super skinny so I only got one thing from Topshop and this a jumpsuit which is very plain and not very special however that's what I kind of like about it it looks like this so it has little straps here and it's from Topshop Petite which I actually love because that means this jumpsuit is three quarter length on me I don't know if it's meant to be three quarter length probably not but I love that about it so it has a little hole here and the button and I actually don't like these buttons because even though they look nice with this hole I can't do them up myself so I always need somebody to do this button up for me but oh well and then you have just normal legs and they're quite thin because I'm not the biggest fan of like flares or collots. So many places right now sell really pretty sequin blazers or very sparkly blazers or cardigans and I just thought this would go so nicely with them and you would have like a night out outfit. Okay so now I'm moving on to makeup and beauty products and I'm going to start with what I'm wearing on my lips right now. I was waiting for this lipstick pretty much two years it's either two years or a year and a half but I'm pretty sure it's been two years since I firstly saw a YouTube video about it and so many YouTubers from the US were raving about this lipstick and I was in love with it but for some reason it took Maybelline to get this lipstick to the UK and the whole range to the UK it took them so long like I thought they were never coming to the UK I tried to look for it online on many many websites but I couldn't find anywhere where I could purchase this lipstick without paying some silly amounts of shipping and custom but now they are in the UK and I am in love and what I'm talking about is Maybelline matte lipstick in the shade Divine Wine this lipstick actually is pretty much sold everywhere right now in every single super drug I've been to I've seen this lipstick which makes me so happy I've waited for it for so long but it was worth it it's honestly beautiful it's kind of a bit similar to Diva lipstick by MAC that I got in my previous haul I think this one is slightly less matte and a, and a little bit different in color I love them both to death and I think I'm going to pick up some more matte Maybelline lipsticks and then I also got this contour kit highlight and sculpt from collection so this is basically a bronzer or like a contour shade and a highlighter and I have made a whole contouring routine using this product and showing you swatches and things so if you want to see an in-depth review about this contour kit then that's going to be the first link in the description just head over and then my next thing is this and Bior recently came out with a whole new range and I love the original Bior scrub I think it's really really nice and they came out with a whole new range orientated around minimizing your pores and I think they only, they have like three or four new products or the super drug that I went to had three or four new products from Bio but this one was really the only one that interested me enough to buy it and it's called Bio 
free your pores, charcoal pore minimizer. And look at this packaging first of all you guys, it looks very funky and very interesting. I don't know, I just think it's a nice addition and this scrub I haven't used it yet because it has charcoal, it's quite a black scrub which is a bit scary when I think about it but I don't think it's going to discolor my face or anything I don't think the color is going to transfer yeah it's quite intriguing I don't know how to use it yet it comes with this oh it smells quite nice as well it kind of reminds me of the original scrub scent but not as soapy just a little bit more sweet as opposed to soap because the other one is sweet but it has some soapy scent to it and this one doesn't so I'm quite excited to try it out okay and then last but not least I have a thing that's one of my favorite from this entire haul I'm so so in love and I only got it yesterday it is Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter Oh my god you guys, I've been neglecting Makeup Revolution for such a long time. I think the brand came out to Superdrug about a year and a half, two years ago and I honestly didn't think much of it. I didn't really like it at the start and I haven't even bought anything. I just kind of swatched a few products and I always went past it. I just I don't know, I was very close-minded about it. Not that many people talk about it. I mean, some people love Makeup Revolution on YouTube, but not very many people who I watch personally talk about Makeup Revolution. So I was never very interested in the brand until yesterday. Yesterday I bought this highlighter and the same night I put it on fell completely in love, went on Superdrug website and ordered some more products from Makeup Revolution. This is incredible, let me just tell you guys, this is absolutely incredible. This can give you a subtle highlight or it can give you a wet look, depending how much product you use. Let me just swatch it for you quickly so you can see what I mean. That's how it looks on my finger and then when I put it on my hand, that's how it looks swatched very lightly like i don't know if you can see because of my bright lights i'm making it impossible to see but this is absolutely amazing they have these in three different colors i picked up the one in the shade peach light so yeah you guys that is the end for my video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you didn't please like it and subscribe to me if you're not already and i'll see my next one bye